What up, y'all? It's your boy Juggalo972 back here along with Misunderstood91. How y'all doing? Uh, and today we are playing none other than the Super Nintendo Classic, Super Mario RPG. Uh, if you've been joining us though, sorry if we've kept you waiting, but I hope y'all enjoy it. Here we go. Let's see. So long. It's been way too long. Yeah, give me a second. This controller is amazing. Yes, it is. Whoa, what's going on here? Oh! Well, looks like I'm not going to be able to finish that off. So, hang on a second. Here we go. How are we going to do this? Here, we'll just, we'll just put 972 in. 7, 2. There we go. Okay, so here we go. Here we go back again. We see Peach right here just twiddling in. Oh, what do we got here? She's singing in a... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I don't think that's going to be good. Or Bowser, if you will. This is in an American. What uh, is it with... I, there's a, I've always had a question since I was seven years old. What is it about Princess Peach... Always getting kidnapped. I don't know. Is she that dumb that she gets kidnapped, though? But remember, on this game, though, she actually jo joins up as a party member. And then eventually, she even has her own game, Super Princess Peach. Yeah, um. I've never played the game personally, but. Yeah, I've never played the game either, though. I really don't even bother to play it, though, because, I mean, you play as Princess Peach on Super Smash Brothers as it is. And, well, here we are at Bowser's Keep. Let's see. Get. Get rid of all these guys real quick. And our first battle. Well, it could have been the first four battles as we fought these little uh, terrapins, if you will. Yeah. Bowser. Why am I saying Koopa? Well, that's the uh, Japanese term. That's his, uh, his Japanese name, remember? Yeah. You've been playing Super Smash Bros. on the Japanese, uh, <laughs> on the, uh, Japanese settings, have you? Yeah. Alright, here we go. Let's get started. Alrighty, what are we going for? And a block. See, one thing I've also liked about this game mechanic, though, is the fact that, you know, you can actually play this, you know, with timed hits. You hit the A or B button at the exact same time, at the right time, if you will, and you get a secondary hit as well. Oh, yeah. Oh! What do we got here? Well, looks like we can't go back. Let us back! <laughs> Alright, here we go. And what do we got here? I love the I love all the Bowser statues. And what do we got up here? By the way, everybody out there in Texas, by the way, whoever whoever's uh if you're in South Texas, you know, with all the floating and all that though, which one of y'all actually saw the casket float up? <laughs> yeah. I, holy shit. <laughs> I swear to God though, that is probably the most metal thing I've seen on a, on a news station in forever. I mean. <laughs> The news is wicked shit to begin with, though, but holy shit, a fucking casket showing up? <laughs> yeah. If you, if you guys don't know what we're talking about, it's on. Yeah. But, um... Jesus Christ, um... It's all over the news. Really all over the news. Along with, um... Along with uh, other related links, such as... Houston becoming a waterfall. Yeah, I heard there was a river, and I hear uh, x Cal even had a, uh, a river in front of his house, too. Uh, I have a couple of friends out in Temple, Texas, who even have, like, a little puddle around them as well, too, and... Poor Bowser. No! It's a chain reaction! Oh, yeah. Shout out to everybody in South Texas. I hope everyone is okay and safe. Yeah, I hope everybody's safe, too. I hear Palo Pinto County is actually getting it pretty bad, too. Yeah. That sucks. Oh, what do we got here? Oh! Uh... Oh. I like how he just rolls on that chandelier, though. That chandelier's got to be probably... <laughs> that chandelier's got to be very dense, and not to mention the fact it's probably going to hurt. Very delicate. I like how Mario's just standing there. Like, Bowser's crying, though, but he's just standing there like, like it's nothing. I was just going to give her to you. You're always in my way. Well, no shit, I'm the good guy. I'm going to take you out, Mario. Oh, falled again. 
How high was that chandelier at first, though? Because it seemed like they had been falling forever. And I know Mario can jump high, though, but he cannot jump that high. She's gonna fall. Uh-oh. She's gonna fall, is she? What do we got here? What could the rumbling be? Oh! And we see a gigantic sword and seven stars. I don't know, if I was that gigantic sword, man, I would get dizzy even after the first run spin. And this is where things get interesting. Yes. Super Mario RPG. I like how they don't say Legend of the Seven Stars right there, though, because even though it's Legend of the Seven Stars, they show it on the uh, the actual screen, though, but they don't even show it on this screen. I remember the last time I played this game was back at our little... That was, like, three years ago. Oh, it was, it was, what, years ago, wasn't it? Uh, three or four years ago, and then... I like how it says Pipe House, though. What's waiting? <laughs> how the hell do you go to a, in, through a freaking chimney like that, that's made out of a pipe, though, and then you just land up on a coat rack? Yeah. With you an know? extra set of Mario overalls. A lot of people use something called a door to go in and out of their houses. Well, no shit. Anyway, here we go. I and... It, I take it this is Mario. Oh yeah, it's Mario's house. And as you hear that familiar tune from other Mario games as well. <laughs> he goes through that and all he does is shake his head. Let's see. Shake it off. Shake it off, shake it off. Let's give him a rest real quick. Turns off the light and... Sleep silent. <laughs> hop out of bed. I wish I could do that, though. I wish I could just hop out of bed. Yeah, me too. Not the place is with you, so where is she? What's with the silent treatment? Well, Mario was always silent until Mario 64. I remember this came out before Mario 64. And, I, and for some reason, I thought that Super Mario 64 was going to be based off of Super Mario RPG as a kid. You know, I thought the same thing, too. Yeah, I was disappointed, though, but then again, I wasn't. Well, let's save. Yeah. Was it? Oh, well, that was years Oh, wait, ago. no, wait, that was, wait, that was on my Wii. I'm sorry. Yeah, that was on the, on the Wii version that you have. Yeah. Okay, Bowser's Keep. Okay, so what the hell's going on here? You can't just walk on, you just can't just knock on the door and just ask them to let you in. But he did that last time, though. Especially with that big ass. Halt who goes there. A trespasser. This castle now belongs to us, the Smithy Gang. It's our first step towards taking over this world. And if it weren't for nosy characters like you... Jeez, that sounds like a freaking Scooby-Doo quote. We'd practically own this world. So let's see you deal with this. Deal with what? Huh. You know, there you know there have been small quakes in Texas as of late, though, and I wonder if this guy had something to do with it. <laughs> well, there goes a bridge. Never would I... Never would I... Yeah. I don't know. Uh, yeah, we'll visit the hill. You and I both. Anyway, let's go back to Mario's pad. Never... Him... Never would I think that Bowser would never be overpowered by... Let's see. By another evil bastard, I guess. Right, right, right. Because Bowser is such a badass. I Ooh. thought nobody could. I thought nobody could uh, kick his ass other than Mario, but no, man. This game proved me wrong. I like how he just tells that story by just walking on air, let him know that the bridge is no longer there. <laughs> Let's go to the Mushroom Kingdom. Pasta there. Da -da -da. Oh, what do we got here? Oops, excuse me! That bump on your head reduced your HP level. One of the Mushroom Kingdom's favorite items ought to fix you right up. Oh, perk you right up. Yes, I know how to use items. Yep. Wanted to rush back and had something to tell you. About a Goomba? Ah, 
I remember. Came to warn you about the mushrooms that are swarming with mon the mushroom waves swarming with monsters. It's barely bad back here in one piece, so do something. Do I know about time hits? As a matter of fact, I do. I, I explained it earlier. He knows about time to hits. He's gonna punch your lights out. And he just turns around and walks. <laughs> I like how he just turns around and walks away too. Like, yeah, this guy's not threatening. But the Mexican in red, I mean the Italian dude. <laughs> <laughs> he looks Mexican. Well, you know, wearing overalls, beard, Mushroom. light and skin, light, you know, mustache, light and skin. Yeah, probably. And I got three mushrooms to go with it too. He All right, here we go. Definitely looks like a Mexican. Yeah, I mean, we're Mexican too, though, you know, we should know these things. And let's start leveling up a little bit, shall we? And there's a toad in deep trouble. Come quietly or there will be trouble. You gotta love Peter Weller, the original Robocop. He did a damn good job. Are you serious? Yeah, he's playing a crooked cop, though. You know who else was a really good bad guy? Uh, let's see. I'll give you. I'll give you a hint. He played Don Quixote, and he also played the uh, villain on Shrek. John Lithgow. Oh, I love John Lithgow. He was great. And he was great in a. Dexter. It was great in Dexter, though. And I used to love, you know, listening to him, you know, as a kid. Yeah, I remember him having a face-to-face. Uh, -face, uh, I guess you could say face-to-face. -face, uh, Dexter. Michael C. Hall? Michael C. Hall, yes. Yes. And he was describing, John Lithgow was describing to Michael um, how, how he and his family sit down and watch Dexter, to see at least season four of it, and how his wife turns around and just goes, who are you? <laughs> I know, right, though, because he's so, you know, because he's so well-known, you know, for being, you know, a family entertainer, you know, specifically, you know, doing stuff, you know, for children. Yeah, very, com very well in the country. And he actually does go around the country, if I'm not mistaken, to read books to children. I believe so, yeah. I think also, um, he was doing a, I think he did tours around, you know, where I went to elementary school as well, too, but I never got a chance to see him. And I don't think any of us really knew who he was until we saw, you know, maybe, uh connection to him as well though but anyway yeah, but as I'm sitting here leveling up I need to recover yeah for those of you know who don't know who haven't played this though your mushrooms recover for you not to mention here's okay notice that there is no MP where it says flowers four out of ten that is your MP and the bad part about this game though everybody shares magic or flowers yes. in this case yes it's uh this was actually you know one of the first RPGs after Final Fantasy that I played on the Super Nintendo because I played Final Fantasy 2, or 4, 4 as it's actually known. And whenever I saw this concept, though, I was... I'm not going to say blown away, though. I was actually confused, because I remembered... Ah, oh, let's see. on the very Even on the very first Final Fantasy, that, you know, everybody had their own MP. So it's like, it, it, it's... That concept, you know, just blew my mind in a bad way. Let's see. Speaking of celebrities that we were I saw Lance Burton. Lance Burton? Yeah. Lance Burton. He, he uh, came by, uh... Oh, Lance Burton, yeah. Had a... Had a, had a, had a, had a yes. Holy, he was a hell of a nice guy. Um, yeah, I heard it was really good, too. Let's yeah. see. Wow. You gotta wonder if his head gets hurt whenever he hits those boxes. Yeah, I don't know what it is about Mario. You gotta wonder, you know, just how much milk he drank, though, or if those mushrooms actually made his bones actually too strong. Yeah, which one? The red or the red? That's a good question. <laughs> it sure is only gonna be the blue one or the purple one. The blue mushroom I'm referring to as new not to mention, not to mention, it was also introduced on the Super Nintendo. You had Yoki, you had uh, Yoshi eat one up though, and he uh, got the got the ability to fly. Ah. And, uh, Honey syrup, yes. Obviously the poison, obviously the purple. Yeah, that was uh, that was uh, brought into. Let's see, what was it? Uh, Super Mario World Two, or as it's known here in the United States as the Lost Levels. Poison mushroom on Luigi's Mansion is black and purple. I think that shit is cool. <laughs> yeah, Luigi's Mansion was a lot of fun, though. One thing that really pisses me off about Nintendo is the mere fact that they're not focusing on the Nintendo Wii. 
I think you know everything is so everything is third party and they're not even focusing too much about it though, except for Captain Toad. And I'm waiting for the next Star Fox as well too though. Oh Remember the stream that we did a couple a uh, couple of weeks back though the, the Star Fox. Uh... Yeah, if anybody's if anybody's on, on my Twitch channel though, check out uh, my Star Fox uh, stream as well. Uh, absolutely, I'm I'm very well looking forward to the uh, oh, yeah. uh, Captain Toad Treasure Tracker was hella fun. Kirby's epic yarn is okay. Yeah, I heard it's I heard it's alright though, but me quite frankly though, I really didn't the last Kirby game that I actually played was a uh, Kirby Superstar though. That Kirby was a lot Superstar of fun. Yeah, I had a lot of fun with that though. Wait, not not Epic Yarn, um, Rainbow Road. That's actually I actually did play a little bit of Rainbow um, Road. That was actually really fun. But um, the one that came out recently, Kirby and the Rainbow Curse. Something like that. I, I don't know. Kirby I haven't been paying attention. Curse, yeah, that that was all right. It, it it got mixed reviews, but it was to me. I thought it was fun. But multiplayer, multiplayer wise, um, it's okay. Oh yeah, it's not too bad. But solo, definitely. It's different, you know, because you have to use your stylus and the Wii U gamepad. It was fucking fun. Yeah, okay. Let's rescue Toad real quick, though. Being carried in by a Sky Troop. <laughs> okay. Now that we saved this useless piece of crap. Token of my appreciation. Well, at least he gives you good items, though. So I really can't call him completely useless. No, it's definitely not in Mario Sports Man. Oh yeah, you see, I, I never really played a lot of. I never played a lot of Mario Sports Mix though, but I know you played that, you know, religiously, you know, for about five months. Religiously, nonstop. I had no life. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I literally had no life, and I was, and we weren't booked in any wrestling shows um, <laughs> at the time, so. Um, but yeah, Toad was a badass on Mar the Mario Sports Mix game. So was the Black Mage. Yeah, a lot of people, a lot of people who don't, who've never played it though. Uh, if you haven't played it, uh, it was actually co-developed by Square Enix, much like how Square Soft or Square Soft at the time though, you know, co-developed this game with Nintendo. Because I remember Square and Nintendo had an amazing relate, you know, relationship, you know, and they always came out with really good games together. They did. This one yeah, being, I think, the absolute top. Though. I don't know if they came out with any other games on the Super Nintendo together. You know who was my favorite character on Mario? Who was that? Cacti. <laughs> it, it was it was a pain in the ass to unlock that that don't, don't, mischievous tiny some bitch. No, don't, don't don't ever mention Cacti, okay? Because Cacti, you know, in other Final Fantasy games, has been the bane of my existence. So in, he was also a pain in the ass in Mario Sports Mix if he was against you. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. You know, you've always, and plus, you know, he also get, you also get him as a summon spell on Final Fantasy uh, VIII. Yes. Yeah, that, that's one game. You know, that was that was really good too. One thing I didn't like about Final Fantasy VIII that was the fact that it was too slow. It, it felt like it developed really slow though. But then again, everybody's got their favorites and all that though. To me, uh, six, seven. First one, the third one, and ten are my favorites. As a matter of fact, I actually started uh, Final Fantasy X just recently, and it is raining. Here. Nope, no, it's not. I'm pretty sure it's starting to. Man. I don't know well, if you could hear any rumbling in the background, but that's fine. Well, let's talk about a storm though. Look at my hammer. You're looking at me and my hammer, and I don't like you. Better be careful. He's got a mean streak. No, he's got a mean is streak. Is that the same toad that you just rescued? He's got a really, he's got a knack, you know, for being held hostage. Yeah. You know, get a little closer to him though. Get a little closer. Hmm. Hmm. Let's see. Now you got my hand ringer. You should have done that. All right, our first boss fight. Well, our first official boss fight. Here we go. Yeah, each one of these guys, I believe, has 40 HP. It's hammer time. Stop. Hammer time. Uh oh. Okay. okay, there's one guy, and I think, I think this guy can run. Actually, no, he does, though. Valor up, and his defense has been increased. Yeah, this is easy, though. Much like another, any other game, though, you just jump on him, and then, bam, everything's okay. Have a time! That's a fuck time. 
That's a lot of hammers, though. How do you how do you throw something like that, though? Well, things like that. Da -da, and five HP left over. Down he goes. Yeah, down he goes. All right, our first bosses are complete and beaten, and you get a flower jar. Now, okay, hold on a second. I'm running so fast, I wasn't watching where I was going. Hence, one of the reasons why you don't speed. Yeah. Where did this hammer come from? You do know what this is. And it's got the Hammer Rose insignia on it. No extended chance against you when you womp on this. <laughs> I like how he praises it. Uh... You never know what'll come in handy. Toad, I have to say, is a. In the end, Toad always turns out to be the badass. Yeah, well, he's the most resourceful. That's one thing I like about him. Alrighty, the Mushroom Kingdom.